Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JVS movie review brought to you from the Toronto Film Festival. This here is the latest from acclaimed director Ava DuVernay, and this one is called Origin. And here's the synopsis. Grappling with tremendous personal tragedy, writer Isabel Wilkinson sets, uh, sets herself on a path of global investigation and discovery as she writes, Cast the Origin of Our Discontents. And this one again stars uh, Anjunique Ellis. It stars John Berthenthal. It stars Aubrey McDonald and Nisi Nash Betts. The first thing I'll say about this film is, hmm, you see certain films where you can acknowledge that it's a really good film, but possibly not the most entertaining film, but an extremely informative film. That's what Origins feels like. It it, it really put me in a mindset of Spike Lee's work from the early 90s. I remember... After I saw the film, the first film I thought that popped into my head was Get on the Bus, which is a film that I feel the same way about. Like, it, it's not really entertainment, but it's informative and it's good work. Really, really good work. That's what Origins is. As we're introduced to the character of Isabel Wilkinson, who is a real character, who is a real author, <laughs> who actually did pursue all of this. This is actually a based on a true story. So it, it's, it's based on her coming up with the book with the system of caste and what caste means. And when we're introduced to her, we're introduced to her with her mom. And we get very touching moments as we see her mom transitioning from her own place to a nursing home. And then we see her husband played by John. It, it's, it really sets up what Isabel's life is. And it then also sets through tragedy as they also use the backdrop of Trayvon Martin to set up uh, Isabel's pursuit after a couple of things happened to her. I don't want to spoil anything of that nature because some people, even though this is a true story, there's a lot of people who may not know this story, but as she goes through some personal heartbreaks, we see her go back to the theory of Trayvon Martin and then her go on a mission as she tells her publisher, like, Hey, I think I could connect Trayvon Martin, the racist stuff that's happening in America the Holocaust <laughs> and the stuff that's happening in India with their untouchables. I can combine all of that together because it's a weave between all of those that are the same. And that system is cast to her. And that's where this film, as Ava even admitted herself, can be divisive for a lot of people. For a lot of people who have never heard of what cast is and did not know much about uh, Isabel's book or still don't know much about Isabel's book. This can be a jarring thing that she puts into play here. It is some very interesting discussions that happen in this film around some amazing performances. Anjanu, and I don't, I'm hoping I'm saying your name right here. Anjanu is one of the best actresses in Hollywood. I, I have not seen her in something that I did not think she was absolutely amazing in, including things that I didn't think was good. But I thought she was the best part of those things. And here we get her give an amazing performance of this woman who is going through heartbreak, tragedy, while still trying to wrap her mind around a concept that she openly knows people will fight her against. And it's just that pursuit of education, the pursuit of knowledge that we get in this film with uh, Isabel is what makes this movie great. Along with flashbacks, as we see with her and her family, her and her husband, her and her mom, and that all of that combines together because it shows that personal heartbreak of any form, if channeled, it can channel itself into creativity for people. And that's what we get out of this story with Isabel, along with Ava setting this film up beautifully. Like this film is shot amazingly well. This is one of the best looking films I've seen this year. But everything is almost pinpoint perfect, which in the end is actually part, part of the issues I have with this film is that everything just feels so perfect in this movie. 
it again, that's why it reminds me of some of those my childhood early works of Spike Lee, where I thought, wow, this film is just so perfect. And the the grittiness that you kind of want is just not present. But it doesn't mean that what I'm seeing is bad. It just means it's not most likely the most entertaining thing to see. And this is not an easy watch and it's not going to be an easy watch for a lot of people because it's going to bring up conversations that people are not prepared to have. And as you're watching this film and you're watching a setup of this film, you kind of understand that's the point of this movie is to not only give you this amazing woman's story, but instead of just giving you a biography of her, like just showing her story on its own merit without even going into details with her book, her personal story is already powerful enough. But then to say, hey, we're not only going to do that, we're going to dive into the elements of this book and what makes this book special, what makes this book something that people actually need to read, even if you disagree with it. That's what brings home this film to a level that a lot of a lot of directors, I don't think, a lot of writers or directors, I don't think could have went down this angle and made a successful film out of it. But again, you also have to add the performances and one performance that always sticks out to me in this film, because I saw this film twice at this festival. <laughs> the performance that stuck out the most to me is Miss Niecy Nash. We have to get to the point of understanding the treasure she is when she gets in these type of roles here. This is an Oscar caliber performance she gives as as Isabel's supportive cousin, who's always there for her through all her tragedies, becomes at one point in time her sounding board. It is it is amazing the way they set this up. And her performance goes from touching, emotional, to completely heartbreaking by the time we get to the third act of this film. All of that is made even more believable by Nisi Nash putting on an amazing performance. Now, by the time we do get to the third act, this film does become a bit much. I personally thought it was a tad bit too long. And it's one scene in particular that I'm not going to go into details about that I felt was it, it was put in, it felt like just to pull even more into heartstrings. And I kind of didn't want that scene to be in there because it kind of takes you out of the movie, but never enough where you don't understand the magnificent work that you're looking at here. Mm -hmm. And that's what stands out be, beyond anything else is that Ava does a great job of understanding her subject matter, focusing on it perfectly and bringing it to a place where anyone can understand it. Because this is a complicated book to talk about. And yet when you're watching this film, it kind of helps bring home the message of exactly what the point of cast is, what the point of the message of this film is. And I'm, I am not going into detail about cast, but I'm doing that for a reason, because this is something I think personally you need to look up into to understand what that system is. This is this is what this film is made for. This film is made to open your mind up to a new possibility for people to check out. So, cats, origins. Sorry, it's not cats. Origins brought to you from the Toronto Film Festival. Out of a possible ten, I am going to give Origins uh, eight out of ten. This is a really good movie. Maybe not the most entertaining movie, but nonetheless a really good movie. Something that you need to check out and need to see on the big screen. This is not something that, to me, that you need, that the home video market is where you should see it at. This is something you need to see amongst a group of people. And hopefully this can lead to a conversation that I know is gonna be uncomfortable for a lot of people to have, but the message of the film brings home the importance of having that conversation. And I think, again, that's the main point of Ava making this movie is, to bring home, this is a conversation that needs to be had and to celebrate this amazing woman who wrote this book through everything that she went through while getting this idea, putting it together. This is a story that has to be told and it is told brilliantly well. Granted, again, it's not the easiest watch, but it's definitely something you should watch. So check it out when it drops. Let us know what you think about it. This has been another JVS Move Review brought to you from the Toronto Film Festival. Peace, people.